Hello and welcome back to the Cracking Fang channel. Today we're solving the Leetco Daily Problem 641 Design Circular Deck. Design your implementation of the circular double-ended queue deck. And we're told to implement the class with all of these methods. We're not going to go through them. It's relatively straightforward. We'll just walk through it um, as we go. These design questions are relatively simple. So let's see the methods that we need to implement. So we have insert front, insert last, delete front, delete last, get front, get rear, and is empty and is full. So the way that we want to approach this is very simple. We're just going to use a linked list and we'll implement it that way. Unfortunately, there is no kind of default linked list class in Python. We actually have to define it ourselves, but it's relatively straightforward. So all we're going to do is we're just going to define a node uh, of our linked list and it's going to be initialized taking a few values, right? So the first one is going to be the value of the node itself. Then we have the next node of the linked list. And we're also going to store the previous because we want it to be double ended. Uh, we want to basically store the first and uh, the previous and the next node. And this will help us a lot. So let's just initialize these variables. So self.val is val, self.next equals next, self.prev equals prev. Okay. Cool. So that is the actual um, node that we'll be using to actually build our linked list here. Now, when we actually build the queue, we're going to need to store a few variables here. Obviously, the first one is going to be uh, the current size of the deck because we can only insert elements if it's up to the size K, right? Um, in which case we need to basically get rid of elements. So we're going to say if self dot size, oops, self dot size uh, is going to be zero. Obviously, there's nothing in the queue when we initialize it, uh, so it's going to be zero. The capacity is going to equal capacity equals to k, and we have the head node. So basically, the start of it is none. Obviously, we haven't built anything yet, and the rear is also none because we haven't initialized anything yet. Now we can start implementing the method. Let's start with the kind of most simple ones. It's these kind of Boolean checks. So is it full? We're basically going to check uh, return whether self.size is equal to self.capacity. So if the current size is the capacity, then we're full. <clears throat> so is empty, relatively straightforward as well. We're going to say return self.size uh, equals to zero, right? Cool. OK. Um, get rear. How do we get the rear? Well, obviously, we just return the rear, we have a pointer for it here. Um, if it's not empty, so obviously, it can be none, then we return it. Otherwise, we just don't return anything. So we're going to return it actually tells us I believe to return minus one, yeah, minus one if it's empty. Um, so the rear, so we're going to say return one, if self dot is empty. So if we don't have anything in our um, then we return that. Otherwise, we're just going to return the value of the rear. So self.rear.val. Uh, same thing for the front. So we can basically just copy this. And all we have to do is change this to head um, to get the front. And there we go. OK, let's now define the last four methods. And these are a little bit um, more involved, but really not that bad. So how do we delete the last element? Well, there's three cases here. Obviously, the list can be empty. It can have uh, a size of one, or it can have um, a size of greater than one. So let's do the first case. So we're going to say if self dot is empty. Obviously, there's nothing for us to delete here. So we can simply return false. Otherwise, um, we're going to say if the uh, self dot size. So if the size is one then we need to delete both the head and the rear because they're actually the same node. Remember that it's a circular deck. So when the size is one, they'll both be pointing to each other. So we just need to just uh, delete both of these nodes. So we're going to self dot head equals none and self dot rear also equals to none. Um, and yeah, that's all you do. And then if it's greater than one, then we just need to basically delete the the last node. So the way that we're going to do that is we're going to say the new uh, self dot rear is going to equal to the current self dot rear dot prev, right? So we just basically set it to whatever the previous of the current uh, rear is, and then we're good to go. Um, now, because we've deleted a node, we need to decrement the size. So we're going to decrement our size by one. And we're simply going to return true because we were able to delete the last. <coughs> 
Now let's do something similar for the front. And we're going to have very similar logic here. Remember, if the queue is empty, then we can't actually delete anything. So we're going to say if self dot is empty, um, then we can simply return false. Otherwise, if the queue um, just has one element again, so if self dot size equals one, um, we just need to delete both the head and the rear because they're actually the same node. So self dot head equals none, self dot rear equals none. Otherwise, we need to do um, basically the same thing that we did um, last time. And except for doing the rear, we need to do it with the head. So we're going to say the new head is going to equal to the current head, its next node. So that way we just get rid of the head. Again, we need to basically decrement the size by one because we've just deleted a node. And now we can simply return true because the operation was successful. OK, we have two more to do. And we need to basically insert last and insert front. <clears throat> so let us now do the last one. So the first thing we want to check when we're given a node and we want to insert it is whether we actually have space. If we don't have space, we cannot insert this node. So we don't do anything, right? We're going to say if self dot is full, um, we're simply going to return false, right? You can't insert it if you're at size. Now the other two cases are that the no, um, is that the list is completely empty or the deck is completely empty or you already have nodes in there. So let's do the case where the list is completely empty or the deck. Um, and this is going to be the case where the head is actually none. So this means that we don't have any elements in here. So if self dot head is none, then what we want to do is obviously create the head. So we're going to say self dot head equals to a new node of value value. Um, obviously, we don't have any other um, nodes. So we don't have a previous and we don't have a next because there's no uh, nodes here, right? And then the rear just becomes the head. So self dot head because it needs to be circular. Okay, so that is what we need to do there. If the uh, deck is empty, otherwise, what we need to do is basically just set whatever the rear is and we need to um, set its next node to be, instead of being null, uh, we just want to create a new node and set it equal to it. So we're going to say self.rear, e oops, self.rear.next equals to a new node of value value. Um, it doesn't have any next node, and its previous node is the current self.rear. Um, and then the current self.rear, it needs to be set uh, equal to whatever the next node is, right? So this next node now is pointing to the one we just created. And then we need the rear to be basically this node. So, so the new self dot rear is going to equal to the current self dot rear uh, dot next, which is what we just created. OK, um, since we inserted a value, we need to increment the size. So let's increment that by one. And now we just return true because the operation was successful. OK, last one, insert front, very similar um, logic here. So if self dot is full, oops, is full, uh, then obviously we cannot insert into here. Whoops, what happened there? Uh, return false. OK, now if we don't have a node in our queue, so if self dot head is none, then we obviously need to create it. So self dot head equals a new node, value, value. It doesn't have a next. It doesn't have a previous. And then the self dot rear just becomes the head uh, self dot head. Ugh, come on. Otherwise, we need to basically just do um, the process that we did here. Uh, this time, we actually need to create a new head uh, because we need to. We can't just add it to the end. We have to. We have to insert it into the, the head. Uh, so we're going to say the new head. Uh, new head equals to node. And this is going to be value. So it's going to be value value. Its next node is going to be the current head. And its previous node is obviously going to be none because it's the head node. So now the current head, its previous is equal to the new head. And now the self dot head uh, will equal to the new head. OK. So we have now set that. Again, we just need to increment the size by one and we just return true. OK, I think that's all the methods. Hopefully I didn't make a mistake here, but let's see. Accepted and should be fine. OK, perfect. Cool. 
Nice. So what is the time complexity of basically all of our operations? So for the time, we're not, you know, doing any sort of loops. We're not really doing anything other than just setting, you know, the next node on a data structure. All of this actually happens in um, constant time. So the time is big O of one and the space complexity is going to be big O of K. Um, where k is the size of the deck, right? Pretty straightforward. Our deck can store k elements, so the size here is just going to be k, whatever the size of the deck is allowed to be. So that is how you solve design circular deck. Pretty straightforward question. Just implement it as a linked list and you know make sure you get all of the correct ways to set the nodes uh, down, but relatively straightforward. It's more of an annoying question than anything, but still a fun one, still the daily question. So hopefully you enjoyed, hopefully you learned something today. If you did, why not leave a like and a comment? It really helps the channel grow. Subscribe to help me reach 20,000 subscribers, and I will see you in the next video. Bye.